In this video, we will see how to use CD4060 binary counter IC. First let's get started with the introduction of CD4060. CD4060 IC is a 14 stage counter. CD4060 consists of a 14 stage ripple carry binary counter, along with an internal oscillator. That mean, we can configure this internal crystal oscillator by connecting resistor and capacitor with pin number 9 and 10. Later, in this video, we will see how to set frequency using different resistor and capacitor values. Furthermore, CD4060 operates over a power supply range of 3 volts to 15 volts. Now first let's see some applications of this IC. It can be used in applications that require discrete and accurate variable time delays. On top of that, it can also be used for acquiring accurate oscillations of frequencies. In short, if you want to design a simple but reliable time delay circuit with a few components, then you can use this IC. Now let's see the details of all pins of CD4060. This 14 stage binary counter IC consists of 16 pins. 10 output pins, that is Q3 to Q13 are output pins. As it is a binary counter, therefore on every clock pulse, the counter value gets incremented by one binary, and binary output appear on Q3 to Q13 pins. Actually, it has 12 output pins, ranging from Q1 to Q13, but pins Q1 and Q2 are not available externally. Because it is a 14-bit binary counter, therefore, when an input clock pulse is given to the pin, for each pulse the binary value gets incremented, from 14 times 0 to 14 times 1 which is equivalent for 0 to 16,383 inches decimal. The rate at which binary counter value gets incremented depends on oscillator frequency. Because higher the frequency, the higher will be the rate of input clock pulses. Now let's see how to set the frequency using internal oscillator. As we mentioned earlier CD4060 has internal oscillator and we can set the frequency according to our requirement by using our C circuit with pin 9 and 10 of CD4060. Pins that we use to connect the oscillator circuit are pin 9 and 10. This simple diagram shows the connection with RC components. Now let's move forward and see how to set frequency. This formula is used to set the clock frequency. In this formula, F is output frequency in hertz, R and C is resistor and capacitor respectively. In this circuit, we have selected 1 mega ohm resistor and 0.22 microfarad capacitor. Now let's put these values into formula, therefore the resulting frequency with these capacitor and resistor values will be 1.8 hertz. That means binary counter value gets incremented after every 0.556 second. Because time is inverse of frequency. Similarly by varying the values of R1 and C1, we can obtain clock pulses of different frequency. Now let's see the output of this circuit by connecting logic state at the output pins. Connect logic state to all output pins. To start the simulation, click on simulation play button, also make the reset pin active low. 
as you can see binary output appear on these pins. Moreover, we can also calculate after how much time a specific pin become active, and it will be useful for creating delays for timer applications. Once we get the clock pulse frequency, we can calculate the output time of each pin using the this formula, where F is the frequency of the oscillator that we just calculated, and N is the output number. For example, if we want to find the time during which the output Q5 will be high, then the value of N will be 5. Now put these values to find time. Hence, the output Q5 will go high after 17.7 .7 seconds from resetting the counter IC. You can also check the output of any pin using oscilloscope. Now connect an oscilloscope to any pin. Observe the output, as you can see, the pin output goes high after some time, and goes low after some time. Now just change the resistor, see the effect on output change rate. This is how we can use CD4060 binary counter IC. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Visit our website for more details and circuit diagram. The link of complete article is given in the description of the video. Bye. See you next time with more technical stuff.